Sean and Issa's baby come into a world where my hair looks like this. When life shows an open door, come on, step a chance like the purest gold. Come on, mm. good to go. For someone who has been sick for the last nine days, you look quite spectacular. Thank you. Look like you just got off the um, the glamour boat. I did. Yes. Uh, today, uh, since Kathy feels better, and uh, uh, thank you to everybody who uh, gave her well wishes, uh, we're we're in the truck and we're headed out to Atlas Foam to buy about um, fifteen hundred dollars in foam, something like that. That's what everybody does when they get better. <laughs> because Kathy's building something quite extraordinary for the Ellen Game Show, still building. Uh, she built one thing. It was rather huge, which uh, we mentioned we didn't show you, couldn't show you yet, still can't show you yet. Are waiting for Sean's baby. <laughs> yeah, everything. That's what we're really doing. Yeah, everything hinges on. We're trying to think of things to do while yeah. we're waiting. Right. So as you know, Sean and Isla are pregnant, and uh, we're at the point where April fourth was to be the day, and it is now April sixth. Six. Yeah. So they, the doctor said that they're going to induce labor within a week. Uh, so anything goes. Uh, it could happen in about five days. It's got to happen in five days or less. Yep. Either way, there's going to be a baby on the vlog uh, shortly, with, within less than a week. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nerve-wracking, you know? So we're going to go get foam instead. Yeah, I can't think of anything to do. So tomorrow, we're going to be going to the hospital, and uh, there's going to be a baby coming. Feeling, feeling like a grandma yet? Not yet. <laughs> this is the last time we will go to Atlas Foam, not being grandparents. Woohoo! This is the last time we will get on the freeway at this location, not as grandparents. July 210 East. 210 East, baby. The interesting thing about the place we're going for lunch is supposedly there is a soup there that helps to induce pregnant women, which we kind of don't need anymore if she's being induced tomorrow. It would be better to do it naturally. It, it would be, but um, I don't really know if this is going to work or not. I mean, she Turn could have... right onto Hunga Avenue. Oops. I gotta make a right. It's a pizza place called Coyote Pizza. It's in Studio City. We're gonna go check it out. Um, I hope that it just doesn't cause pregnancy because then that would be weird. Or if I go into labor.
Studio City, waiting for Sean and Isla. And uh, there's a very high probability that we will no longer be NGPs in Studio City. Non-grandparents. NGPs. No, you don't look like ass. That's the other end. Um, how do you feel? Pregnant. Yes, and the doctor said tomorrow is the day. I get induced. You get induced. So is there a chance that it won't be April 7th, it might be April 8th? Maybe Could be. It's all up in the air. It's all up in the air. But it's exciting. And Sean, he's kind of stressed, but it's going to be good. I'm good. It's the next morning and Isla is going to be induced today. We don't know when. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? I feel fine. <laughs> uh, can you tell she's nervous? Uh, Kathy's a little bit nervous, but she's going to go down to the hospital. I'm going to stay here for a little while and you're going to text me when it's time to come down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any last words? No. Nothing? <laughs> oh, well, this is the last time you'll see me before I'm a grandma. Right, no, it's, it's the last time we'll do this shot in this location of the house. That's true. As non-grandparents, NGPs. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, basically today is the day. Uh, Kathy's very nervous and um, I'm not necessarily that nervous, but I, I don't think fathers, grandfathers get all that nervous. I, I don't know, it's the first time I've been a grandfather, so uh, we'll find out, but everything should go smoothly. Isla and Sean are currently at the hospital there at Cedars, and uh, I'll be taking you guys down there with me a little bit later as soon as Kathy kind of gives me the thumbs up to come down and, uh, you know, and, and see the baby appear in this world. Uh, right now, she's uh, a bun in the oven, and it's very exciting. I know a lot of you have, have been through this before many times. I've never been through it, so uh, uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked. Abigail Bailey Clark. In the meantime, while uh, Kathy does that, I got some drawing to do. I got some a few things to do. Check this out. Those are part of the Malibu book and the new Mustang book that are coming in about a month and a half, two months. Stuff from the Volo Museum was turned in. They loved it. Check out the cover turned out really good. This is going to be a book you can only get exclusively at the Vola Museum just outside of Chicago. You're going to want to check them out. I'll put a link down in the show notes. Probably the number one Hollywood movie car museum uh, anywhere. Big thanks to Brian Grams, who is the uh, head honcho at that museum, for, uh, for calling me and saying that, hey, let's uh, let's do a book here. But I got some work to do. So I'm going to be doing that, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get to the hospital, I guess. <laughs> It's time for me to go to the hospital, uh, although things haven't really changed all that much. Isla has been given some medication and stuff uh, to help the process along. But I've been tasked with something very important, extremely important, because Kathy, Sean, Bob, Isla's mom, Linda, and myself, we all have to eat. So I'm, I'm going to go to La Salsa and get some burritos. That, that's my job. been thinking a lot lately about what it means to be a grandfather, father, parent, that kind of thing. And the exciting thing is that we are right on the cusp of a whole new generation 
Uh, many of you, as I, as I mentioned, have been through this, but you have an opportunity when you have a new life that comes into the world to, uh, to you know, surround it with love and teach them things that are valuable things about life in an entire generation of firsts you know first things like taking them to the beach the first time having ice cream the first time sucking on a lemon the first time it's not the things in this world that happen that make the difference it's how we perceive them how we we look at these things and looking at a new life with love and with anticipation excitement knowing that isla has a, a tremendous support system myself kathy and bob isla's mom and dad he's a very lucky girl and abigail abigail bailey clark she's going to be coming into a, a very great world an amazing world and a world full of, of incredible things and it's going to be our job as grandparents to introduce her to those things And she's about to deliver a burrito when it's not sure what kind yet. There's splash glasses. Splash glasses, great. Yeah, that's awesome. Just in case. I don't even want to know about splashing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know about splashes. Yeah. That you have. This is my memory of the day that Abigail was born. Pink and blue. That's actually her colors. Yep. And Linda, what did you get? What did you buy? Oh, just two little storybooks. Um, Oh. Isla, Isla had this one before my sister oh, gave it to I her. Oh, I saw that one. Oh, I yeah. remember that one. So. Me? Let me see yes. what this I got is. a box of chocolates. I'm trying to see if there's an alarm. These are actual air tays. Look how oh, beautiful I those are. I'm not sure the closet open, It's down by the gift shop. Wow. In the hospital, there's air tays sitting there. And Picasso. Yeah, there's a Picasso up here. Picasso Lindbergh. I had to have security help me find the room. So I had to walk around with a policeman. <laughs> yeah, you could benefit from that just walking around town. I know. There's one missing, yeah, which Sean just took. <clears throat> Thank you. Bow. <clears throat> hmm. You're about six hours now. Uh, Isla still has to have her baby. It's taken some time, so I gotta drive back, go back, feed the dogs, do a few things, and then come back again. Thank you. 